This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a Miele dishwasher that won't heat the water. It's usually this thing, the heater relay. So first we're going to unplug it or we can turn off the breakers. We pull the machine out from the cabinet. We want to drain any water out of the sump. Uh, Miele usually gives you a little bit extra hoses so you can pull the machine out without having to disconnect all the hoses. And then once you get the water out of the sump, and the dishes out, you can just lay it on its side. And that gives you pretty easy access to the bottom area where the heater relay hides out. We have to just pull off this drip tray. There's four screws that hold it on, just Phillips head screws. And then once that's off, we have access to the heater itself. We're just going to test it for continuity to make sure that the, it's not the heater but the heater relay. So checking it for continuity, it shows 11 ohms. So we know the heater's okay. So we're gonna pull heater relay out by depressing this tab and pushing it to the right. And then we'll just remove these three modular connectors. So to clean the relay, we removed the plastic cover. We just pried it off. And now we have to clean these little metal contacts. They're like the points on an old distributor on a car. We just use a flat file and we can see that these points are kind of pitted and dark colored. They have a lot of carbonation and that's because every time the heater turns on these relays close to allow energy to flow to the heater and there's a little spark that's created and that spark causes oxidation or a little bit of carbon buildup. Finally, there's so much carbon the electrons can't pass through and the heater won't work. So we're just cleaning up these points again with this flat file. And what you'll notice is there's a total of eight of these little round points. And we've got to clean them all up so they're shiny. So we just take the flat file, go back and forth on them to remove all the rough spots and remove the carbonation. And I would go back and forth maybe about maybe 10 times for each one. And that should clean it up. So it looks pretty good now, pretty clean on both sides. And we should use a little electrical cleaner too will help. So we use this can of CRC electric cleaner. You can get this like at Home Depot or hardware store. We're putting a little bit at the top of the electric magnet and then on all the point surfaces and then also on the terminal connectors at the bottom of the relay. So mainly on these points though, that's where they get dirty. So I'm spraying some on these and then I'll spray some also on the modular connectors that, that plug into these. So we let that dry. We put the cover back on, put the relay back in position, put the modular connectors back on, make sure we click them in tight, and then we're going to put the drip pan back on, slide that into position, and then there's just four little Phillips head screws that we have to put in to hold it on. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe when you get a chance. Thank you.